today's video is going to be different from what I usually post because I'm going to talk about struggles and how to survive with braces and a palette expander. So, a lot of people as you know have braces like me, but not only braces but other um, gadgets to fix your mouth and all. And I have braces and a palette expander. Yes, again. This is the third time I get a palette expander, so that's why I am talking like this. So let me explain like all of this. Because, because, big, because, because, I don't know how to pronounce it with this. Because first in my, in the first times that I went to the orthodontist and now I went to another orthodontist that I'm not currently going to put on the palette expander and a bunch of more things but I um, I didn't like how um, they treated me as in they put a lot of gadgets in my mouth that I could barely swallow or breathe so that's why then they took it off and then I went to another orthodontist and then they put it again on another palette expander. So it did work. Then um, they told me that I had to have it again. And that's why this is the third time I have it on. So the story goes is this. The day that I um, got it, the third time, it was extremely painful and uncomfortable. Not only did they put on my palette expander, but they also put braces in the bottom teeth because I didn't have braces in the, in the bottom teeth. Now I do. And that's why it was um, more painful than it, it is because it, I got scars here and I, it was just really bad. Like It hurt to talk. My family could not understand what I was saying because it was um, so so bad and as you can tell um my pronunciation isn't that well right now um so you can imagine that in first days that i had my palette expander i could not talk at all it really it was a struggle to be <laughs> like it was really really um painful for my bottom teeth and it was also very uncomfortable and i felt like i was gonna choke while i ate so no big deal. It made me feel better. I said I'm not gonna have it for the rest of my life. I won't have it, and I won't have it for a long time. And other people are going through this as well, so that doesn't really bother me anymore. But in the beginning of the days, it truly did. The struggles were a lot. Um, I still struggle with some things, but I I have gotten better in pronouncing things and to eat. Now um, I'm thankful that my my teeth don't hurt anymore. That it's just uncomfortable, you know. Another thing is that sometimes, well, not sometimes, pretty much all the time, I don't like going to public places and talk to people because how I am talking. For example, I can say thank you properly, you know, like thank you. Anyways, but I mean, I'm getting used to it, you know. Okay, so now after I talked about the struggles, now I'm going to talk about how to survive. So in the beginning, I ate um, soft or foods that I can chew, like rice, mashed potatoes, um, soup, and I also ate macaroni and cheese. It was pretty good. So those are some foods that I recommend you to eat when when you struggle to eat something like with a palate expander or some braces, you know? But now luckily, now I can eat more solid foods. So. Okay, so now, tell yourself that you're not the only one going through this. Like, I know that it's probably very painful, um, you don't like the way you look, um, it's very uncomfy. But don't worry, you're not alone because I am going through the same thing as you and other people too. It's not a, it's just a normal thing to have like a nut some braces you know so that's the tea and, and also be confident because confidence is the best thing ever the fact that you're confident about how you look is um a good thing and you don't look weird even if you're wearing a clown costume in the street even if you're confident no one cares you know oh and this is my favorite thing is that it's an excuse to be lazy and do whatever you want, like fun activities. <laughs> so uh, you can just like lay in your bed or something and watch YouTube or something. <laughs> yeah, like it's pretty fun. Even though you don't have all day to like be lazy or whatever, but you can also do things that cheer you up, like 
I'm watching BTS videos or, or TXT videos or listen to music or something. I don't know. Those things really cheer me up when I'm in a bad mood. And that really helps me. All of those things that I mentioned really help me. Oh, and probably because of the fact that this is my third time wearing a palette of thunder, so I don't know, but <laughs> but I survived twice and I'm going for a third time, you know? Like, I'm not gonna lie, uh, having braces or other, it's pretty hard and really um, uncomfy. At the end of the day, it will help you have a healthy life and you'll look um, more awesome than you do now. And yeah, I'm like, uh, let's cut the spread, you know? So yeah, those are the things that I want to say. I know this video was kind of different from what I usually do, but um, it's, it was just an update, you know, in my life. Anyways, and I want to know in the comments below if you have braces or palette expander. If so, did this video make you feel better about it or anything? If you are insecure about it, I don't know. Well, that's everything for this video, but I'll see you next time. Bye!